These are boats with 900% movement speed. The fastest form of moving in the game. So... All the way, I'm gonna do all main missions basically in every every region. And there's gonna be over half of them containing out of bounds or escapes or any of those. I don't know. Three, two, one, go. I feel like that was a bit off. No, it's not. And the difficult part about the run in general is you want to mitigate all the falls you get as much as you can because having to pick up the bow back again wastes at least one, two seconds. Most bosses will get either one or two shot. This is just samurai. Samurai difficulty. And all the bows have... Well, you can't see it because it's Japanese. Uh, they have some damage. There's also a very specific reason why I do not have a soul core. Uh, spirit, I mean. Which is to grapple the... Uh, was it? I was thinking the split for a sec. Only split regions here. i never actually done this Japanese before, I just thought I wanna... So, the best run I've gotten is four, uh, 4906. So I know it's possible to get 48. But getting 48 is ridiculous. It's actually ridiculous. I grinded this run for 19 hours straight to get sub 50. So it's a very grinded run where there's barely any room for mistakes. Uh, for any percent of this category, there is basically no room for any mistake. But for DLCs is where I can still fix certain things. It all comes down to movement, the way I move, the way I move around obstacles. Very, very important in this run. And this is just a chill kind of run. Oh, there's also a new skip that I'll be doing, I think. I have practiced it a little bit lately. Which I discovered not too long ago, uh, which should, if I do it correctly, should save way more time than the previous. If I fuck it up, though, that's gonna suck. Wanna avoid yokai rounds, wanna avoid anything that slows you down. Oh, and the moment I lose, or if I'm missing one health, my damage is lowered. No matter if it's just one health I'm missing, I'm losing half of my damage. Why I went down there and didn't grab the key, I don't know. That's already kind of too big of a mistake. Oh, and another... Wow. Okay, I want to reset this. This is so bad. Insane. Wow. Uh, I don't have any defense using this, so shit, even though I'm max level, I usually get everywhere from 2 to 3 shot, depending on who I'm fighting. And that's the end of the first region. Split out. The moment the screen goes black.
This is really bad. Off to a bad start. Go on the hardest mission first here, which technically isn't. But it also is. The skip here can be a bit weird. And if I don't do it fast enough, I will just get get a stone in my back and fall down and die. I got it pretty pretty fast though. Not the best, but yeah. Sorry. This guy usually dies in one hit with bomb arrows. And another thing, while I have bows in the melee weapon slot, I cannot block. There is no blocking I can do while in this state, so that's why I... Well, it's one reason why I have dual swords, because I will need that for later. But that is also what allows me to cancel the fall animation, which allows me to float across huge gaps and... yeah. Uh, yeah, so me not having a spirit is for grapple animation when I'm grappling Gyuki, the first boss, and the other bosses that requires grappling, like Daidara Uh The fastest grapple animation you can get is when you don't do not have a spirit. Other than that, it's Brute. That's the fastest to have... Well, Brute is fastest grapple animation. If you have to or want to go for spirit. Uh, another thing is these glitches will not work very well in higher difficulties. You can do them in Way of the Strong, I believe. I haven't tested too much in Strong. I made this specifically for Samurai. Probably is a way, but yeah, it's because of the Neo 2's math, it becomes so weak later on. You cannot do Neo with this. You do not have infinite arrows. I actually got hit by that. Uh, you do not have infinite arrows like in Neo 1 without glitches. Neo 1 you can just get the infinite arrow bow. This game does not have that. This is what happens when I'm blocking. That was the end of the region. I am stupid because now I'm doing the easiest missions first. None of these two first missions have anything big skips or anything like that. One have a... Well, the, the next one have a tiny one. The third one have one of the biggest. But it's also pretty difficult to... Because I haven't done this run in a bit. So, if I fuck that skip up, it's pretty much run over now, but because of the failures I did in second mission, well, technically third.
the guide I have for all the out-of-bounds are outdated at the moment. But it still explains. I vaguely touch on the glitch in the beginning and just goes on to show what I made with it. But it should at least explain how things work, why things work. It basically took it from near 1 into 2. It's, it works pretty similar, but it's also in a way different. You have to, it, you execute it differently. So it, all it required was a different thought process. I just have to bank that I get, I'm, I'm wasting my time by doing these two if I fuck up the third. Which is why I preferably want to do the hardest first. If those fail, I can at least just reset and haven't wasted time in easy missions. Obviously, this is just a very tiny. It's only me who's done this run. It's a very tiny. Category, this is not any ma uh, main category or anything. Uh, there is more. Uh, I fucked up, of course. I fuck up. Wow. That is too big, I would say. I can't really afford that. I'm just not used to doing it from there, but. Uh, So here, waiting, I'm backing away. Start shooting too, I'm done. Now... Time for Madara, I think his name is. I forgot. I'm just gonna yeet off the bridge in the correct angle. Preferably, if I don't get the correct angle, then I die. I think I have it. As long as the camera doesn't fuck too much here. Okay, there we go. First try. Oh, that's bad. Nothing in here. I think there's only one mission that have anything here. If I remember right. This is usually a run I do just for breaks from Neo 1 runs. Let's just chill. If I get sub 50, uh, 49, if I get that 48 minute run, then I'm done. I'm done with the category. And probably eventually I'll move on to 100% featherless at some point. It's just about learning the run. Dude, I thought I was gonna one shot that. I might die now. I'm alive, okay. Barely. I had to heal. I... I'm losing way too much damage by not. Huh? The fuck just hit me? 
I didn't know the ceiling could actually hit me. Interesting. Uh, there's also a glitch I discovered that you can carry from Neo 2 into Neo 1. Which is why, partially why I have the game in Japanese at the moment, but I just haven't bothered trying it because it's gonna delete all my save files for Neo 1. So when I first bought Neo 1 Remastered, the game, you're not supposed to be able to access Japanese, but there's a glitch I discovered that basically carries the Japanese from Neo 2 into Neo 1. I'm not sure. I tried many things to reproduce it, but I have an idea now how I did it. It's just about trying it. Just haven't done it yet. But the problem with it is, if you first go Japanese, you cannot... You can never switch back out of it, or if you do, then you're just gonna lose the Japanese. And have to redo the glitch again, which kinda sucks. Why they didn't just... Why they didn't just allow Japanese in Neo 1, I don't... I, I, I won't understand. I like the look of Japanese better in Neo for... It looks cleaner when you look at like shrine and different things because there's no text under it's just part of the graphic design so it kind of looks pretty cool that way plus the font itself looks pretty different let's see if i can actually pull this off first try and in a good time That's bad. That's bad. Okay. I'm still going. I'm still going. Okay. Nice. Insane. Insane. Okay. That's bad. I think I fucked up. I f Oh my god. I actually managed to fuck back up. Okay. Insane. If I can PB with that, that would be insane. That is the skip that I discovered the other day, last week, two weeks ago. So the main reason I grabbed the shrine is not because I need safety. It's mainly for getting back fast. So when it dies, I need you need to have the key. It doesn't matter if you open any doors. But to actually spawn Gyuki, you do need to have the key. I have a way I can go around, go to Gyuki's arena without a key, but Gyuki is not there. So to, to actually spawn Gyuki, you need a key. There is also this out of bounds in this mission is insanely big. So second grapple. Huh? I gold split? Okay, uh, this run that I did with splits, I've never done... I haven't done many of these runs with splits before recently. Last time, I think, I made the splits that I did this. So I've done way more runs than it's showing. Uh, and the run that I did was really bad. I died at several of the easy skips and it was just not good. So the, the <coughs> this skip skips the first boss of this mission goes straight to the last boss. I 
I preferably don't like using bow up those. It can fuck you pretty bad. It's very easy because Neo 2 has some very odd physics I can't explain. Compared to Neo 1. I needed way more shots there than normally because I took damage. Unfortunately. Um, but yeah, Neo 2 has some really weird physics when going upstairs or up any slope in general. You, if you go too fast, you will get pushed down, basically. Oh, God knows how it's going. Good morning. So I got a new PB for Neo 1, 90% plus 90% DLC, world record, in 2 hours and 10 minutes, with a bunch of fucking raging. So I just decided to see if I can PB this run as well while I'm at it. I'm still coping and hoping for that sub sub 49 minute run with this with DLCs. I uh, still so, uh, the best I've ever gotten, which is not official. I'd never submitted the run because I didn't care. I don't care about the run unless it's 48, basically. So there's a reason I take this run. It's to spawn the boss. The boss is now. The boss doesn't function until I use Travel Amulet and go back. Or kill myself. Anything works. Any, either that or that. It's the only way to make the boss actually function. Uh. Yeah, how's it going, Darkness? Come on. I want to grab a drink, but the game loads too fast on PS5. I just... I got no time. Have you seen... Have you seen the new Neo 2 skip that I found two weeks ago? One week ago? I don't remember. I posted it in the Discord at least. I did manage to use it in this run, so if I get a PB with this, that would be that would be amazing. If I can get all the skips flawlessly and get that sub sub forty nine, uh, that would be then I can. Oh well, I thought it actually would one shot me. I still have to heal it, sadly. Wasting time. I think the best any percent for this category that I've gotten is... Uh, 32 minutes something. Which is getting to last boss. Uh, I forgot his name. Oh, Takamaru. Uh, 32 minutes. So. It's incredibly difficult to actually get anything faster than that at the moment, unless I don't do any mistakes. I need. Complete mistake free run to actually beat that. That goes for pretty much all movement. I'm a bit afraid of this part here. Okay, there we go. Ugh, I hate those two bumps there. Uh, 
And I do need to float before landing. If you don't, you will die of fall damage. Flashbang. Warning. Too late. You got. You done got flashbanged. I. I almost died, dude. I'm about to die now. Okay, this is so fucking bad. Shittiest. Shittiest shooting doji fight I've had. One more hit and I would have done. Insane. I'm hoping I can rediscover something for this mission because at the moment there was one skip but it doesn't save time. Maybe it could save time and I just haven't tested it too many times but every result out of the few tests I did resulted in time loss. Uh, so yeah, I don't think there's anything to it. It's swag but it also is not any point so hopefully there's probably something more to this mission So any crystallized, any crystal-like object, I have to use bomb arrows. O other things just do way too little damage. Usually this guy's one shot, but because he hit me, dude, what is happening? It's literally iframing everything I do. Pull it off. Mm, there we go. Good. Is this is the last. No, there is the golden castle. Uh, I still got that, which is good. So, I didn't know that before last run, where even if the guy shoots me while I'm in mid animation, it has to go some frames though, before you just don't take damage from the bullet. Really handy so I don't have to waste one second to shoot him. One second, but. This run, those seconds count a lot. No, fuck. Unfortunately. I'm gonna... Oh wow. Well. I'm gonna do it again. It's 
Time for the fastest way to kill the house. The good thing about killing the house this way is being allowed to move during cutscene. So while the screen goes black now, I can move to where I need to go. I messed it up a bit though. Yeah, I should be able to place myself right here at the exit. But I didn't get it. I was a bit afraid to move over it, so I just stopped. Uh, this is actually insane pace. This is actually insane pace, which is super strange with the mistakes I did. Uh, I should not have had it in Japanese. It's really hard to know which one of those were the right one. I would expect this would be a 2.30 if everything at the door goes correct. That went right, that's good. Now this asshole... No, actually, I'm not sure. This might even PB. Uh, if you just stopped moving too much though, dude, no. Oh my fucking god. Wow. Insane. In insane. One hit away from PB, dude. Thank you. That's insane, man. That's literal robbery right there. That's the downside of having only bows. I can't block. So I would have to switch to dual swords really fast. And hope that he actually do the action while I'm getting combo to death and then block dodge away, which it's really awkward. Oh, of course I get hit. Now I get hit now. That was uh that's such a robbery though. First death, I think. If I just didn't suck at shooting here. Why does he start in that phase? What the fuck is happening with this? Dude, I, uh, dude, no, not again, not again. What? It, fucking hell, man. I, I don't know if I've ever seen that. That's disgusting, man. Oh, uh, well, still good, good, good pace. This is... Unless I mess up in a major skips, this should... PB. Yeah, 33. Mm. Good pace though, but man, that was a robbery. Oh yeah, when I was actually on PB pace last time, I was on 48 minute pace. I got soft locked. There's three places in out of bounds here in this mission where you can soft lock. And of course it had to happen. So I just have to hope it doesn't happen. If that happens, it's just the run is done. Which kind of sucks because this is pretty far into the run. But it's either that or not peeping at all. So, out of bounds to last boss, basically. Man, I'm really sketchy on this. Oh shit. Okay. Please do not. So, I curve around the collision here. 
I get in here. Don't soft lock, dude. Don't, dude. Oh my god. I, I'm mostly afraid of the first one. The second one can soft lock as well. I don't remember if I've ever gotten soft locked on third. The first one is way more likely. And that's the mission. Good. It didn't happen. This boss can kill me really fast. But I also want to get closer so I can kill him fast. Even though he... Uh... Uh, fuck. Um... Uh, he does a lot of damage to me. All DLC bosses. The next one here... Will one shot me or not one? Uh, just combo. Which is a big part of why I made the dual swords here. The dual swords also gives me 20% bow damage. There's only one minor. What the fuck was that? Looked like I was skating on thin air. I don't know what the hell that was. It might have been a hidden collision somewhere that I didn't haven't seen before, or been able to hit. Uh, that's the only skip for the entire mission. I've lost two runs to this boss until I then understood that, oh, he actually goes through that move every time. So, the moment I open the door or right before, I need to switch to dual swords and dodge. He's shooting, I don't know, I haven't counted the beams he's shooting, he's shooting some. Once he's done, I kill him. Unless my aim is bad. Here is a very common place I used to die a lot. But once I understand a little bit more of the gravity of the game, where it pushes you down and know where to move, and I've done this quite a long quite a while. Uh I almost forgot to switch there. So he will always do that and move every single no matter it doesn't matter. It will always do that move. There is no way I found at least to bypass that move aside from doing what I just did. And if you get hit by it while having bow, you will just get comboed to death. That's the end of the run, basically. There is nothing you can do about it. You just have to watch your character get, watch your character die. It's not cool, but it happens. Uh, this region sadly don't have shit. I did discover a faster kill to this boss though. Hopefully I can get it. If I can aim at her head immediately. And get her down. I think I, I did actually hit it. This is the fastest way. So it's either doing that or you're going to have a constant struggle going back and forth and you can't see shit because there's two spirits surrounding the camera, both Nekomata and the goat. It's horrendous. Yeah, I think uh, I should have this in the box. There's only one skip that worries me, but it shouldn't, because of the new skip I have now, that should be the time I need. I also fear the time I lost from any percent was... Mm, it might actually have taken away everything. 
at least it mitigated some by doing the skip, I guess. Alright, the last region 2 mission. I have accidentally switched to spirit. Uh, I could have just moved past that without getting hit, I think. I'm trying to think, yeah, there's the final boss that I need to grapple. But that doesn't depend on spirit, so... Uh, yeah, I think I can just keep spirit on here. For the rest of the run. I did that nice. I found a skip here, but it's, it doesn't, I think it was equal, or it lost time, I don't remember exactly, but either way it was pointless. The second DLC, what oh, dude, second DLC for some reason is just too secure. I went a slower way there. Hopefully I'm not triggering new area too early. He didn't even, okay, he didn't get triggered, good. Do not kill me, if he kills me the run is over. Oh, here you get sound. Nice, insane. Wow. That's incredibly fast. And the moment this boss appears, I can already start damaging it before it can even move. Right here. Which allows me to kill it before it can do shit. If I miss the aim, then I will probably move away and be a nuisance. That's second region, second DLC. Okay, there is a skip here that I'm not gonna do. This could be useful for anything, whether you're a casual player or not. But for this category, it's not, because I deal more damage than the skip saves me. So I'll kill the boss faster than the skip saves. It's a bit mismanaging there. Kill the guard, hope he doesn't hit me. Hopefully kill him, there we go. Grab key, get the fuck out fast. Don't hit me in the back. Don't you fucking do it. Yeah, you can auto bounce around this fight to not trigger the fight 
you can also out of bounds the entire way. The entire way from here to last boss arena. Skipping all the enemies. It obviously takes way too long. Wait, uh That was really strange looking at the rocks getting loaded in like that. The moment the uh, Tengu thing downstairs, when he triggered, it loaded some rocks in. And a very important thing here is not move. Don't move at all. Which I did wrong in one run not too long ago. If you don't move, you will not get hit. Why? I don't know. Last mission. 45. Okay. If I die once here, it's over. This is the run. But, uh, if it's even faster than 48, if it's 47, I'll be very surprised. I need perfect movement. I need to probably do some safety. I could complete YOLO and risk dying, but this guy will always be on a cycle because the speed I'm moving at. So I preferably want to kill him. However, I can switch to dual swords while I'm opening. He will always hit me, dealing over half my health. Um, so two shots and I'm done. Which is super risky, you never know with that guy. Uh, and now there's no worry until the end. Where the worry gets worse. So normally in this mission you have to grab two keys. We're gonna skip those keys. Because those are annoying. And takes time. The downside of it is, I think that skeleton actually follows me, and that's probably what... So there's a skeleton here, skeleton there, I want bomb arrows here, I fucked up, so I have to deal with that. And then, I can't see where the other enemy is, there's one there, and there's another one somewhere. I need to be fast at the same time. And jumping off here, I fucked up. That's really unfortunate. I'm we'll gonna go straight into the elevator. Everything in this area will be unloaded. I hope that didn't cost me the entire run. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Damn, nice. Okay. Oh man, uh, yeah, I, actually I'm not sure. This is like right... I don't know. Uh, find this run fast. Go, 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 go. I don't know. I think I actually might not make it though. No, it's not gonna. Oh my fucking god, okay. There it is. There it is. That's the